Welcome friends, I am Tom Moy. I am currently doing PhD at Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research Kolkata in Chemistry Department. This is my channel, Chemistry Ministry of Monitor. If you like my videos, please share uh, my videos, subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up if you like and if you don't like, give some like. So, this is the second part of this directed optimization. Here I will discuss mainly about some examples. For example, this directed optimization by different group. For example, strong directed optimization versus weak. Strong means which can coordinate or donate more. Let's see this example. And one important thing is that here I have written secondary butyl lithium. Three butyl lithium are there. One is primary, one is secondary, and one is tertiary. Nucleophilic character is increases in, in this direction. Means from primary it is stronger nucleophile. Okay. And if you go to this tertiary, basicity increases. And actually, this directed optholithiation is mainly basicity driven. But for example, this is a more reactive reagent, this is after that, and this is little less. So, whenever possible, we prefer to use this N butyl lithium. You have seen many examples, major lot of cases, N butyl lithium. Because when there is not a problem of selectivity, but when there is a problem of selectivity or multiple reaction, for example, we are considering here as directed ortholithiation. Another thing, there is a carbonyl. These alkyl lithiums are good nucleophile. I have explained in my previous video about the basic introduction and preparation about this butyl lithium, where you can see. They are electrophilic center, so nucleophile can attack. So, a competition may happen but this versus this. So, ultimately, it will result a mixture of product. That's why it is better to use little bulky. But, second point, if we use so much bulky, for example, this tertiary one, then due to the bulkness of this because this bond can rotate so right now this ethyl and this is this side so it may come after rotation this side so it may not be possible for this uh, tertiary butyl lithium to abstract this proton then ultimately although in spite of having the reactivity it will not be able to reach or maybe difficult to reach so it may abstract proton here as well as here so there will be a mixture of products that's why it is very important to choose proper reagent so when you see second time with butyl lithium it is expected that there is some competition for example if if we take tertiary butyl then it will not attack here it is guaranteed but it will not be abstracted here then let's check the secondary actually secondary is not also attacked here attack here it attacks here that is the main reason for choosing this secondary butyl lithium and the main reason for choosing Timeda is its coordination to break the aggregates of lithium reagent which will produce more reactive lithium alkyl butyl lithium reagent. So what happens this uh, and another thing how it coordinates I, mean, I, have, told, I have told that strong director optimization how if we check the resonance of this group this this lone pair donates and here. So what happens? The canonical form O minus double bond in this. So actually this is a charge separation contribution of this canonical form to the overall uh, strong electronic distribution will be less but it signifies. So coordination will be stronger. What will happen? After this coordination, this proton will be abstracted and it will produce O N this. Here, this is not attack here because of the bulkness of this secondary butyl region. That's why this group is not, not attacked. Okay, keep it in mind. And this oxygen always remains in coordinated to the lithium salt. Now, after that, okay. Uh, this is uh, secondary butyl lithium THF Timeda. So after that, I forget to write. It will be reacted with tosyl azide. 
what this reagent means we know that azide is a good nucleophile and this tosyl azide is actually looks like this paratoluene sulfonic acid azide okay there could be other canonical forms also and this tosyl azide is attached with this reagent first tosyl azide second is sodium borohydride and what product ultimately produce this is the amine i'll explain every step in details this is so what happens this reaction is nothing but aromatic electrophilic amination means electrophilic amination electrophilic attack will be happened on this acide this is a nucleophile this alkyl butyl is a nucleophile so it will attack to the electrophilic center this nitrogen and it will produce first step it will produce this reagent this azide this n it it will subsequently reduced by nabh4 to produce this okay so how this aromatic electrophilic amination happens sorry i mistake ots let's draw n n okay. this is the structure there are other canonical form and what happens this alkyl lithium is a very reactive reagent that's why for example let's consider as lir okay so lir this r group attacks here okay then this pushes here and this ots goes out what happens then one unit negative attached one unit negative left ultimate product is n plus n okay means don't confuse you may confuse that why lithium should attack this on simple one ots one unit of negative charge is eliminated so and so this will take this lithium and go as plus lithium ots in our ionic salt and since one unit added one unit left so we need molecular charge is neutral this so this is electrophilic amination reaction okay in this way this reaction happens so what is the purpose to give this problem purpose to give this problem is first to show that strong directed optometration character of this group first point second point second point is that attachment of an amine group or this you can say nitrogen ortho position ortho position to a electron withdrawing group that is a amide group it is not possible because we know amide is metal detecting so any electrolytic substitution will happen on metal side so this is the beauty of this reaction that we can have ortho amine with using this directed ortho metallation okay okay let's discuss another example of directed ortho lithiation okay here we have also used sec butyl lithium secondary butyl lithium you can see here two types of directing groups are there one is one type of directing group is this this one and another is this one now question which will direct question means 
there should be confusion that it may happen here controlled by this side it may happen here controlled by this side which side in my previous example i have told this carboxyl groups are strongly ortho directing why because of the resonance of this lone pair this so ultimately ortho metallization will happen this side okay so what will be the product the product will be lithium this is ome and this is in me2 i wrote in this way because donation will happen from oxygen side okay okay so this and the second point is methyl iodide you know methyl iodide is delta plus this is its this is delta minus it's an alkylating reagent alkylation will happen here so methyl group is attached here oh okay first second it is an another example if this aldehyde is given what if this and in case of this aldehyde using this same reagent this one it will produce it will produce an addition to aldehyde this is for example this is co nme2 and here the aldehyde will attached what will happen oh this carbonyl group will be attacked by this lithium okay this lithium will come and attack this carbonyl group it will open and ultimately after work up after work up second time it will be carboxyl oh okay then attached to a benzene ring let's draw this benzene ring okay now don't confuse you need to learn drawing properly otherwise this trick could be utilized and misguided even the exam using four multiple choices but slight different position is given and you, if you can't draw you may choose the wrong one although you know everything right so proper drawing is necessary for example one hydroxyl should be adjacent to this carbonyl so okay put one hydroxyl adjacent to carbonyl second is what para to this as well as two para to this as well as two so here now see another cyclohexane with a double bond this is this cyclohexane ring with a double bond so this is the actual structure of the product so now the question is what is the purpose to give the problem first of all to show a comparison study a comparative study of different donating group okay different donating group for dom reaction means directed ortho metallization reaction first point second point second point is that nucleophilic attack of this alkyl lithium reagent is you on alkyl iodide means alkyl halide second point third point that this alkyl this lithium nucleophiles can att attack also the carbonyl group it is one of the example so you this example could misguide you in example if this example is given they can give different option of this along with that what they can do they can make lithiation here and after that they produce series of compound they can give in the multiple choice so you have to find out even they can give two example at once and give pair of this 1 2 3 4 in this way they can give question so you have to choose the mcq which is right so in this way so two from pair maybe came from here two pair may came from here and one pair the position is reshuffled so it could be a trick easy question but tricky to understand that's why it is essential to understand the mechanism properly so i suggest you please try to understand first instead of memorizing please try to understand first if you understand this example properly you may be able to solve the problem comes in the question and i believe 
this directed orthomethyl metallation or lithiation is very important you may have a question at least not di from directly this example but it could generate an anion and that anion is replaced in some other reaction so in this way this can come in the exam let's discuss another example example is benzene production i'll explain for example if we take this fluorobenzene actually previously we have exam uh, given examples of this anisole oxygen if we go one step in the periodic table there is nitrogen oxygen fluorine in this way electronegativity increases this is the thing this also has three lone pair of electron and if it react with butyl lithium what will be the product it's confusing at low temperature for example this low temperature could be minus 55 degree and let's consider the reagent is thf uh, sorry solvent is thf this is so what will be the product since this is since i have given this example after this study it means definitely it will form a directed orthometallation means this f and lithium it is true but what is the speciality if temperature slightly increases greater than 55 minus 55 degree what happens this reacts eliminates this benzene okay this benzene is produced this bond means this bond keep it in mind is not in conjugation with this ring this benzene is uh, sp2 sp2 this is sp2 this is sp2 overlap that's why this is not proper overlap that's why it is very reactive region okay okay and in this way minus lithium fluoride go because this is a carbon elect bond electron rich carbon that is c minus this is f so it can donate to the electron pair and lithium fluoride can leave so what this benzene and this benzene is a very good reagent choice for diels alder reaction with other dienes diene means dienes for example if we consider one of the famous example that is fuel and it will produce that diels alder adduct that is this benzene ring this electron cloud the pi cloud is intact because this bond is not the pi cloud this is outside so here and it's a six member ring from like this means this this and this so ultimately this will produce this in this way this reaction is strong okay so this is the da reaction product da product so what is the purpose what is unique in this example instead of that if we had used this chlorobenzene bromobenzene or iodobenzene what would have been the product the product would have been this lithium reagent so this is the uniqueness of this ortholithiation reaction where in case of fluorobenzene it produces benzene keep it in mind but in case of other halobenzene it produces different alkyl lithium reagent so this example indicates that why previously i have always discussed about this for the preparation of alkyl lithium reagent chloride bromide iodide because they helps in transmetallation but in case of fluoride they produces benzene because this cf bond is stronger due to this multiple bond act so this is the end of this uh, directed orthometallation next time i will discuss some other lithium uh, reaction for example this uh, reaction of this butyl lithium with heterocycles so please like or subscribe please subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecules if you like my videos please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends so after that goodbye